Second Peter chapter two and verse number ten. Second Peter chapter two verse number ten. All the way down to verse 18 is really a description of the moral character of apostate teachers, or should I say more the immoral character, characteristic traits of apostate teachers. So verse number 10, Second Peter chapter 2 verse 10, the Bible says, "But chiefly them." that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. So kung Tagalogin natin ang Bible, ang sabi ng Bible, lalong-lalo na sa mga nagpasa, nagpapas sa... sa kanilang laman ng pagnanasa at lumalait ang nang makakapangyarihan sila'y pangahas panggahas ba o pangahas? pangahas pangahas matitigas ang ulo at hindi nakakatakot na alipustain ang mga may kapangyarihan or the dignitaries or yung mga may lubalhati the um The word there is the those that are uh, that have glory, and they're speaking about human government. So one of the main reasons why Peter gives us these lists of descriptions is to warn us about apostasy. And the practicalness of this is that. Uh, every Christian, every church member is in danger of apostatizing in a practical way, not in a biblical sense, because in the biblical sense, an apostate is someone who never trusted in the Lord. That's someone who never walked with God They uh, came to some knowledge of the truth, but they never embraced the truth. They were exposed to something, but they were never in the truth. They came awfully close. Then, of course, they go their own way, and then they end up in destruction. That is an apostate. Someone who came close to the truth but now is no longer walking in the truth. He stands against the truth even. That's apostate. Apost, uh, apo in Greek means to stand, and stasis means to be against. So apostate is to stand against the truth. And now we as Christians, we are in the truth, we continue in the truth, but... We are still sinful people. And if we are not careful, the flesh will produce sinful tendencies and error and sin. And we as Christians are capable of sinning all different kinds of sin. So the list here uh, that Peter is describing, an apostate, uh, the biblical apostate, Uh, a Christian can fall into the sin in a practical sense, and we can become practical apostates, forgetting that we have been purchased, forgetting that we have been saved by the grace of God. And so uh, this is a warning, and if you are warned, then you can make sure that you can take heed to the warning and... Uh, Uh, inire-reserba ng Diyos ang mga apostate teachers uh, sa, kanilang, uh, sa kanilang huling wakas. Gaya ng nakareserba ang mga anghel na nakatanikala sa Tartarus, uh, naka, na, nakareserba ho ang lahat ng mga apostates para sa hatol ng Diyos. Now, as a Christian, we will not go through the Uh, the judgment of God concerning eternal hell or the lake of fire because when you're born again, when you're saved, when you know the Lord is your Savior, Jesus was judged in your place. 
The wrath of God was poured on him for you. <clears throat> But uh, it doesn't mean that God is not going to judge the Christian. We have a judgment to face. What is that judgment for Christians? Hmm? The judgment seat of Christ. That's right. The judgment seat of Christ. <clears throat> And uh, in the judgment seat of Christ, the Lord will look at how we served Him. And He will, he will bless us according to our good works. So the good works is not the basis of salvation. It is the basis of rewards in heaven. Okay? And so <clears throat> don't get those things confused. So let's look at uh, Peter's description. Tingnan natin yung mga katangian ng mga apostate teachers. So I have 26 points. And so if I spend one minute and every point, we'll be here for 26 minutes at minimum. Not, not even commenting on it. Just, all right, here we go. <laughs> and by the way, lahat tayo ay may posibilidad na gampanan ang mga ito. Huwag mong isipin na porque kristyano ka, na exempt ka sa kasalanan. No? Ang difference ng kristyano sa hindi kristyano ay lahat ng kasalanan ng kristyano ay pinatawad na ng Diyos. At pwede tayong linisin ng Diyos kapag humingi tayo ng kapatawaran. Hindi tayo humihingi ng kapatawaran para iligtas tayo uli. No, niligtas na ho tayo nung tinanggap natin si Jesus Christ. Ang hinihiling na lang natin sa Panginoon ay kalinisan para maging malinis tayo. Hindi para maligtas tayo uli. No, pag ikaw ay ligtas, niligtas ka na minsan, ligtas ka na forever. You are forever saved. The question is not salvation. The question of cleanliness and sanctif is a matter of sanctification, not salvation. All right? But any of these sins, uh, we are all capable of accomplishing. If you are not walking in the Spirit, you will fulfill the lust of the flesh. So let's begin here. What is the description? Verse number 10. Them that walk after the flesh. Walk after the flesh. Sumusunod sa pagnanasa ng laman. Now, ang laman ng tao ay nagpo-produce ng mga um, uh, 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 bagay na humihila sa atin sa paggawa ng mali. Now, imagine kung wala kang banal na Espiritu ng Diyos. Imagine kung hindi ka born again, kung hindi ka ligtas, ay talagang dinadala ka talaga ng pita ng laman. Sumusunod, wala kang, walang, walang kumukontra sa laman ng taong hindi ligtas. Pero kung ikaw ay ang anak ng Diyos, may kontra, may panglaban ka. Sino yon? Ang banal na Espiritu ng Diyos na nananahan sa atin bilang Kristiyano. All right, they walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness. Yan ang pagnanasa ng karumihan. Uncleanness is like pollution. Now, is pollution healthy or uh, uh, disastrous to your health? Disaster, no? Ang pollution, no? So, kung wala kang malay patungkol sa kasalanan sa buhay mo, parang napopolyot yung kaluluwa mo. At hindi humasigla ang iyong espirito dahil punong-puno ka ng polusyon ng mundong ito. And so, uh, na- nakakabigay ng sakit no, ang polusyon. No? Kung hindi, mo, hindi ka marunong mag-sanitize, hindi ka marunong maghugas ng kamay, marumi ka palagi, hindi ka naliligo, or whatever, malamang, magkakaroon ka ng infection at nakamamatay ang pollution. And so we have to be careful to make sure as Christians we ask God to cleanse us every day. To cleanse us of our sins. And to be clean in the Lord. All right? Ano pa yung ugali nila? What else is their description here? They despise government. Despise government. Now listen. I don't always agree with government, but I cannot despise them. I should never despise them. Because no matter who's in the, in the, in the government of man, who put him there? Do you believe that God is in control? 
Okay, so stop despising government. If we were angels, we wouldn't need government. But we are not angels. We are humans. And so there is a need for government. We may not like it. I may not agree with it all the time. Uh, we, we, may have, we, we can say some harsh things about it. But to despise government, we should never despise government. And be careful with that. Be careful with that attitude. Presumptuous. Presumptuous. Mapangahas. Tama ba yon? Bold or daring since they despise government. Uh, speak their own mind. They don't care what they say. They don't care what comes out of your mouth. You got to be careful with that. You got to be careful what comes out of your mouth. It matters what you say. Words matter what you say. What, you say. <clears throat> uh, what else is their description? They're self-willed. Self-willed. Ginagawa ang sariling kagustuhan. Uh, ito, pusakal sa sariling pamamaraan. Ganda ng Tagalog. No? Pusakal sa sariling pamamaraan. So, you have two choices. You have God's will or you have self-will. Which, which would you choose? God's will or self-will? We should choose God's will. You see? And if you don't like God's will, what's your alternative? Self-will. Okay? So remember that. <clears throat> Now, uh, what else is there is a description? They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Nilalait nila ang mga bagay ng gobyerno, ng government. <clears throat> And so, uh, hindi sila natatakot na magsalita ng masama sa mga namumuno. Uh, hindi magandang ugali yung palaging nagsasalita ng masama sa otoridad. Ang otoridad ay dapat igalang. Even if you don't agree, kailangan pa rin respetuin ang opisina ng authority. Okay? <clears throat> Now, uh, brute, uh, it says here, not afraid to speak of dignitaries, whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. But even the angels, they don't speak evil of dignitaries, principalities and powers and rulers of the darkness of this world. The angels, they don't even speak, they don't deal with demons. They go to the Lord directly, you see. And that's what we should do. Follow the example of the good angels. Now verse 12, But these as natural brute beasts, para silang hayop na walang bait, Ah, may, ili, may ilap na hayop. Tama ba yun? May ilap na hayop. Ang ganda ng Tagalog, no? Mabangis na hayop. Walang training. Hindi tinuturo. Okay? <clears throat> so, we should never be like that. Uh, God has given us everything to teach us not to become as brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed speak evil of the things that they understand not. Nilalait nila ang mga bagay na hindi nila nauunawaan. And so, uh, we all have this tendency, speaking evil of things we don't understand. So if we don't understand something, it's easy to just say something, right? Do we understand the pandemic, the COVID? Do we know all the details? Do we really know everything? No, we don't. And so, to bad mouth and to speak bad about something when you don't understand, that's an, that's an attitude of an apostate. All right? <clears throat> Just remember that. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Sanatai verse, um, yeah, verse 12, right? <clears throat> Shall utterly perish in their own corruption. So, yan, ang ugali na, may corruption. Uh, ano yung corruption sa Tagalog? Kabaluktutan. Or corruption. Pwede rin yung corruption, no? Uh, so may kabaluktutan ang mga apostate teachers. And, uh, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Riot in the daytime. We've seen a lot of rioting sa USA 
All right? So people don't get their way. They don't like what's happening. And instead of protesting, which is their legal right to protest, they have a right to protest, what they don't have a right to do, what nobody has a right to do, is to riot and start destroying and burning things up and busting up small businesses, small shops, rioting. Mm. That is an attitude of an apostate. Uh, are Christians prone to this? Yes, if we are not careful, if we do not guard our hearts and guard our spirits, we'll be out busting things up, rioting. Mm, not good. And the Bible goes on to describe these people, spots they are and blemishes. Ano yung spots and blemishes? Dungis at batik. Dungis at batik. So, uh, hindi ho maganda ang ugali ng mga apostates sila ay dungis at batik. Uh, so may pagkukulang talaga sila. Napakasama ang kanilang ugali. Uh, and goes on. Sporting themselves with their own deceiving. So mapalin lang sila. They are deceitful. But look at here. While they feast with you. Ah, habang kasama niyo sila. Kasalo, kumakain, katabi nyo, yung pala apostate na. No? Gotta be careful with that. <clears throat> verse 14. Verse 14. Having eyes full of adultery. Eyes full of adultery. Pangangalun niya. And uh, they're full of adultery. They're not faithful to their Uh, marriage partner they're looking for lust and adultery for somewhere else someone else and that is sin they cannot cease from sin <clears throat> they've made it a habit to sin walang tigil sa paggawa ng kasalanan beguiling unstable souls ano yung beguiling iniakit nila ang mga hindi matatag sa pag-iisip so Nangyari niyan sa atin, may pumasok sa church. Nang hingi ng tulong, wag sabihin sa pastor. <laughs> wag mong sabihin ito kay pastor, yon. Humakot ng napakalaking pera. Ah, hindi humingi ng payo. Ano nangyari? Ayun, na estafa. And so on, we have that problem. Uh, don't, wag tayo magtiwala sa mga visitors, pagparating nila. Masaya tayo, nandito sila, yes. Pero wag natin pagkatiwalaan na isang linggo lang nag-church. Member na kaagad, no, not at all. Mm -mm. May standard ang Bible para sa church member. Kailangan faithful. Ano yung faithful? Sunday school, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Wednesday prayer meeting, yan. Yun ang basic. Attendance pa lang yun. Tithes and offerings, finances. Soul winning, evangelism, service and ministry. Discipleship, daming requirements ng membership. Uh, so, pag naging tapat ang tao, doon muna mapagkakatiwalaan siya. Pero habang bago, smile lang muna. Hello, musta? Social distancing. <laughs> Hugas ng kamay. <coughs> pag sinabi, Brad, bigyan mo naman ako ng pera, tulungan mo ako. Ay, pagpapray ka namin. Ganon. Pero yung member, pag kailangan ng tulong, nandyan ang church. Ganon ang member. Pag isang member natin, kailangan ng tulong, tutulong tayo. We will help. Pero pag hindi member, kailangan ng tulong, baka makatulong tayo. Baka. Alright? That's how it works. <clears throat> Protect yourself from beguiling. Ano pa? Covetous practices. Kasakiman na pang-uugali. Yan ang uh, apostate. Sakim palagi. Cursed children. Mga taong sumpa. Sumpa. Lahat ng ginagawa nila, sumpa. Uh, walang blessing sa Panginoon. Verse 
which have forsaken the right way. Forsaken the right way. That's apostasy. Forsake the right way. Alam natin ito ang tama, ito ang dapat natin gawin, pero imbis na ginagawa natin ang tama, iniiwan natin ang magandang landas. Apostate yun. Apostate yun. Uh, na, nag-church ako, tapos anim na buwan, wala na sa church. That's apostate. Siguro, dapat tawaging apostate Baptist Church. Mag-church ako kada anim na buwan lang. May apostate Baptist Church para may apostate Baptist member. Oh, di yun, yun, at least honest. No, don't forsake the right way. Don't forsake the right way when you get older, kayong mga kabataan, kapag tumanda kayo, no? pagdating nyo sa edad, huwag nyong iwanan ang tamang landas. No? Hindi porke. Ad- Are you listening, William? Listen to me carefully. When you become an adult, it's not like you're saying, well, I'm not going to go to church anymore. No, this is the right way. Walk ye in it. When I get older, I'll just forget church. I'll forget the Bible. That's just for my mom and dad. Well, you're an apostate. That's apostasy. Forsaking the right way. Uh, verse uh, number 15. And have gone astray. Ano yung gone astray? Na, naligaw. <laughs> naligaw sa landas na tama. No? Nangyayari ba ito sa mga Kristiyano? Yes. Maaari itong mangyari sa mga Kristiyano. Kaya nga, binibigyan tayo ng babala. <clears throat> okay? Uh, following the way of Balaam. What is the way of Balaam? Well, in the Old Testament, Balaam was a false prophet. He was a prophet from Moab. And uh, Balak, the king, wanted him to curse Israel and paid him money to curse Israel. But God didn't want him to curse Israel, so he couldn't curse Israel. So instead of cursing Israel, he told Balak what to do so that they will sin and God will have to curse Israel. He said, take your beautiful women and parade them in front of Israel. And the men of Israel will fall in love with them and they will forsake the Lord their God. And they did. And that's the way of Balaam. It's basically the love of money. <clears throat> the son of uh, Bozor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. You're controlled by money? Controlled by a love of money? You'll, you'll do anything for money. No? Isn't it amazing? Kapag yung trabaho nagsabi, pasok kayo dito, pasok dito, hanggang dito yung oras nyo, hanggang dyan yung oras nyo. Yes, yes, yes. Overtime, overtime, yes. Salamat. Holiday pay, holiday pay, salamat. Pero paglinggo, araw ng Panginoon, hmm, sa kanila lang ako mag-church, optional. Oh, <laughs> that's apostate. That's apostate. And there's a lot of Christians who practice apostasy on Sunday. Because you can be at work, but you won't be in church. Ano yan? How is that? Pagdating sa trabaho, never late. Pagdating sa church, absent sometimes. No, that's apostate Christianity. We don't, well, that's not good Christianity. That's the way of Balaam. <laughs> Loving wages of unrighteousness. Okay? Nasa uh, <clears throat> tayo? Verse 16. But was rebuked for his iniquity. Anong tawag ng Diyos sa gawa ni Balaam? Iniquity. Ano yung iniquity? Kabaloktutan, kasalanan. Uh, uh, the dumbass speaking with a man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. Yung ang, yung ang donkey. Nakita niya yung anghel. At sinabi ng donkey, ay huwag ka na magpatuloy. Sabi naman ni Balaam, Papaluin kita, magpatuloy ka. Tapos tiningnan siya ng donkey. Sabi niya, hindi mo ba nakikita itong anghel na ito? Papatayin tayo. Nagulat si Bailam. Ay, nagsalita ang donkey. <laughs> May mas, mas maganda yung utak ng donkey kaysa sa utak ng madness ni 
prophet <laughs> Balaam. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> these are wells without water. You ever see a well without water, dry, dead, nothing? It promises refreshment. It promises uh, uh, a joy and refreshments. And But when you go into it, and you bring it up, nothing. Maybe something dead, like a dead rat or dead animal. Who knows? Wells without water. There's a lot of wells without water. Yes, pastor, I'll be there. Then Sunday comes and they're not there. You know what that is? Wells without water. Hmm. Clouds that are carried with a tempest. Clouds. Ang ulap na... Ano ito? Ulap. Ulap na tinatagay ng unos. Tama ba yun? Unos? Unos? Tinatangay. Tinatangay ng unos. Uh, uh, that's not God's will for the Christian. You know, God wants you to be a stable, solid, firm, uh, uh, steadfast Christian. Not a a, a cloud that's easily carried by the wind. Oh, we'll go here. Then we'll go over there. <laughs> Then we'll go here. <laughs> Then we'll go over there. You know, wherever the wind blows, you know, that's where we go. That's not a solid, stable Christian. Yeah. That's an apostate Christian. <clears throat> See? This is a practical, practical descriptions here. Uh, okay, we got the wells, we got the clouds. Uh, where are we at? 17, okay? 18. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity. <laughs> great swelling words. They, they know how to say something nice. They speak great swelling words, but it's vanity. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, pastor, I like your preaching. I like your message, pastor. Well, that's nice. Let me ask you a question. Do you practice it? Oh, Pastor, I love that Bible. Do you read it? Oh, Pastor, I, I love the prayers of the church. Do you pray? You see, uh, that's, what, that's what it's talking about. <clears throat> Swelling words of vanity. They don't, you know, it's lip service. Is no service at all. It doesn't doesn't count. They allure through lust of the flesh. They use the lust of the flesh. <clears throat> Inaakit nila sa pagnanasa ng laman ang sa kahalan kahalahan uh, through much wantonness. I like that word wantonness. That's classic old King James word. Wantonness. Anong ibig sabi ng wantonness? Wanton. Hindi yan yung ano. Hindi yan yung, hindi yan yung kanton. Ha? Wanton. Hindi. Hindi yan wanton. Wanton soup. Hindi yan Chinese soup. Ha? Wantonness. Ibig sabihin ng wantonness. Uh, rebellious. Lacking discipline. Lustful. Unrestrained. Hindi pinipigilan ang sarili. Want, kung ano ang gusto ng laman, yan ang binibigay mo sa sarili mo. Hindi yung magandang ugali yun. Matuto tayo na magsabi ng no sa sarili natin. Matuto tayo magsabi no pa minsan-minsan. Huwag lang yung yes ng yes. Wantonness yun. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. So they live in error. These apostate Christians, these apostates, they live in error. Alam nilang mali, pero hindi naman tinutuwid. Nabubuhay na lang sila sa kamalian. And that is apostate Christianity. Can all this happen to us? Yes. And that's why we need to be warned. Watch out for these things. Now, look at what it says about those who escape. Those that were clean escaped. So, ano ang, ang way para maiwasan natin ang apostasy? Maging malinis. 
clean, naging malinis. Malinis sa espiritu, malinis sa konsensya, malinis sa puso, malinis. And the way to do that is to be in sanctification. And you will escape as a result. There is the secret, there is the way to escape. It's called cleanliness. Maintaining a short sin account with God. Maintain a short sin account. Meaning to say when you fall into sin, if you're a Christian, you fall into sin, immediately confess it before the Lord. Forsake it for the Lord. Immediately get it right with God. Don't allow sin to pollute you, to fester in your life. We have a cleansing fountain. Amen? We have the blood of Jesus Christ. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and Sinners plunge beneath the flood, lose all their guilt and shame. There is forgiveness, so be clean, live clean for the Lord, and you will avoid the 26-27 descriptions of apostasy. Let's bow for a word of prayer and ask the Lord to bless. Nawa, iwasan natin ang apostasy sa buhay natin. Walang magandang sinabi ang Diyos patungkol sa mga apostate Christians. Imagine that. And so the question is, how are you doing in your heart? Are you clean? Are you clean? I'm not asking if you're uh, educated or informed. I'm not asking if you're uh, wealthy, wise, and healthy. Huh? Healthy, wealthy, and wise. The question is, are you clean? The only way to escape apostasy is by being clean. And you know the Lord, when you confess your sin, He'll cleanse you. He'll clean you. And you can become clean. And God can bless. But if you refuse to be clean, you are on your way to apostasy. And you will accomplish all different kinds of sin. So be clean. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the truths of Scripture, and we are, are challenged not to become apostates. We're warned, we're given all these terrible descriptions so that we can avoid it, Lord. So help us, Lord, clean us by the power of the Holy Spirit of God and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We would confess our sins, <laughs> we would forsake them, and we would ask for a cleansing from on high every day to walk with you and to have short sin accounts, and to remember you and, and love you and serve you. We ask your blessing upon this message, Lord, practical, practical truths. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you. You are dismissed.